Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to a wonderful start this morning. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy and this morning. I woke up under the influence of BS, a belief system. It was a belief system that talked about something that I remember from years and years ago. And I don't know, sometimes it comes up out of the blue and I say, wow, that, that's not the truth about who I am. It's BS. And if I'm not fully awake and fully aware, I can sometimes believe, again, that is how it is. And I can start playing small. I, I can start being afraid of failing. I, I can stop leaning into my edges and, and, and really be compromising and being average and being mediocre because it's safe. Do you have BS in your life? Do you have a belief system that says, you know what? I know what you want to be, but you can't be that. You, you, you don't have what it takes. You're not smart enough. You're not, you're not beautiful enough. You're not creative enough. You're not courageous enough. You're not what you think you need to be to allow yourself to create everything that you came here to be. Do you have that BS ever circulating in your mind? Sometimes it falls into your heart. Gosh, do I know how that feels. And every single morning, we wake up under the influence of BS. And it's either a belief system that says, oh my gosh, everything is possible. Or, you know what? Play small. Play safe. You don't have what it takes. You don't, you don't know what you have to do to create everything that you came here to be. Well, you know what? We're going to challenge that BS today. We're going to make a brand new belief system. And we're going to keep the high watch so you and I, we absolutely rock it. We live up to everything that we came here to be. We do not settle for old status quo BS. We don't allow those old belief systems that want to find a way into us to keep us in mediocrity and keep us in average. We're going to blow them out of the way and say, you know what? We're going to change our BS. Number one, how do we do it? Be fully present. Studies show that you and I are often, in fact, most often across the world, most people are only present 47% of their time, their time on the planet, 47% of the time right here, right now. And when you are present right here and right now, you give your brain and your body permission to live up to the truth, physiologically, neurochemically, emotionally, and spiritually. That is one of the greatest ways to change your BS. It allows you to look at where your resistance points are. It allows you to witness when you're saying to yourself, gosh, this is an old reflex. This is an old rehearsed way of dealing with my life, of thinking about myself. I know this because I've been hurt before, and I know sometimes I'm afraid of being hurt again. I want to play it safe, and that belief system comes in and fortifies a wall of mediocrity and being average. So you know what? Let's be fully present right here and right now so we can live up to the truth and we can challenge worn out beliefs. We can challenge the lies that want to come through us to keep us to play small. Number two, self-efficacy. Self-efficacy allows you and I to tell a new story. And what does that simply mean? It means that you and I, every single moment of our life, when we follow through on our good intentions, when we live up to our character, when we express our integrity with compassion and courage, we do that, we literally are building brand new neural pathways. We are changing our belief. And how do we do it? We simply are present for what's going on. We say, you know what? I promised myself I was gonna get outside and take a walk today. I committed to myself I was gonna meditate today. I said to myself, when a loved one comes into my space, I'm going to drop my phone and be fully right here and right now. When an old worn out belief says, you know what, who do you think you are? You can't do this. I say, you know what, I know exactly who I am and just watch me. That's self-efficacy. And number three, shift from expectation to intention. Expectation has a lot to do with old, born, worn out ways of seeing life. Like, you know what? You say to yourself, well, you know what? Every time I go on a diet, I fail. Every time I commit to an exercise plan or self-love and self-care practice, I never stay with it. So this belief system says, I don't have what it takes. I don't have that tenacity. Or we say to ourselves, you know what? My intention is to grow every single day. I'm letting go of the expectation, but I'm moving into intention. Intention is a heart-centered way of looking at what's here, what's now, what do you want to create, and what do you want to be standing for? Because intention brings your attention, and it allows you to create a life that you love, to overthrow the tyranny of trends, to move away from mediocrity, to absolutely crush the belief system that you are not enough and live up to who you are. 
So together, you and I, we're going to change and challenge our BS, and we're going to create a belief system that allows us to love our life fully, openly, with absolute, absolute intention. So with that, much love and many blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.